Micros and Grandma 2 offer dramatically more powerful functionality than that of the Series 1. In this video, we'll look at macros, how to create them, and how to add them to the user keys. With the macro pool open, press Edit and select an empty cell to store your macro in. Click in the New Cell and type in the first command line for your macro. This could be any command that you can do on the console, as the Grandma 2 is completely command line based. And of course, you can use the console's hard keys if you like. If you need help remembering a syntax, there are a couple of tools built in that you'll find useful. First, to see all of the commands that you've recently entered into the console, press the yellow ball on the command line. Next, if you press help, help please, the console will populate the same window with all the different possible commands. Back in our macro, if I want to add additional commands, I just add another line. Other options in the window allow you to delete, cut, copy, or paste individual lines within the macro. The time column is where you can set a delay command for each step. For example, if you're making a macro for a fixture's control parameter that requires special timing. When you're satisfied with your macro, just close the window and it's saved. Now to run the macro, it's as simple as touching it. There are also many built-in macros available to you in the macros edit window. Press predefined and the console will allow you to choose from these options. You'll remember many of these as being the quick keys on the series one. In fact, the quick keys are now entirely macro based. Select the one you want and close the editor to save it. If you find that you'd like to have most or all of these predefined macros in your show file, there's a shortcut you can use to import them all at once. Enter Setup and from the Show tab, select Import Export and then Import and Macros. Click on Predefined and then click the macro or macros you want and then click Import. This will quickly populate your macros pool. You may also want to assign certain macros to X keys for easy access. Many users find this preferable to the touchscreen. Select the user page that you want to work on, user 1 or 2, and then press Assign Macro, followed by the macro number, and then press an X key. Keep in mind that we're entering the macro key and macro number into the command line instead of touching the macro in the pool. The reason for this is that many macros will simply run when selected. Once assigned, pressing this X key will run the macro in the same fashion as touching the macro in the pool.